Taylor County Section 8 vouchers are closed actually at this time and there is a waiting list of years long the last time that I checked. So we have people who are looking to go into subsidized housing that have to because of their income that will never change and there are wait lists on those properties here as well. We have people that work full time that just have nowhere else to go. We have people who sleep in their vehicles that choose to sleep in their vehicles because they feel like they are taking from someone else while they come to shelter. They know that they're working and they will find a place when it comes time, but we just don't have a lot of housing in our area right now. So there's many different ways that a person can be homeless, whether it's somebody was living in a home with the housing market being as well as it is today. Their landlord had sold their home that they lived in. They just couldn't find another place that was affordable. We have someone who was disabled couldn't work anymore, working through the disability process, yet owned his own home and had to give that up. Having no income going to disability, um, it takes a little bit of while for that process to go in. We have people who are aging out of the foster care system that once they're 18 and they're out of school, they're done, they have nowhere else to go. We have domestic violence victims, people who are leaving an unsafe home and an unsafe place to stay. To stay at Taylor House, there's just a specific amount of rules and guidelines that they have to follow that everyone agrees to when they stay here, so they know those rules coming in. If it's something that were to endanger someone or anywhere else, obviously they couldn't stay here. Um, there are specific rules that we have in place that is an absolute termination of shelter.